Okay, just the basics to start off with. Okay, so it's pretty much like an AFL style game. Okay, so as soon as you pass it, you catch it. Okay, um, and then you've marked it, so you have to stay where you are. You can't run with the frisbee. Okay, and one of the most important things is for us students, okay, if Nick ever gets a frisbee, we'll tackle him. And I say we got two sides believing that they're all alone. While most of the people are just trying to get home. Two sides oh. <laughs> so what we've got now is we get While a girl and a guy from each team, so from students and staff, we're going to put this hoop about 10 metres out to decide who starts, whoever gets the closest to the hoop or in the hoop, uh, starts with the hoop. The students and the staff team to be on this line, behind the line, we are using the white frisbee and we'll take it in turn. The event here is the um, ultimate frisbee challenge between UC staff and students. Most of the staff understandably come from the sport department um, of the university and it's part of a, a range of events that a particular class in sport event facility management have to organise. Every one in the class has to individually or as part of a group organise a sport event um, linking with some sort of community. Here obviously it's the community of um, university people, staff, students, but most of the events are to do with um, community sports situations ranging from bike rides to kids meeting their, their heroes in a sport context, um, triple play, triple code events, uh, there's mixtures of um, school based events, community um, events, indoor cricket, indoor gym, international student events. And it's all part of the practical aspect of students in their third year um, learning how to actually stage an event rather than just learn one from their academic planning or whatever. Lee. And then as a result of this, and they get assessed on the event and their planning for it. But then the other half of the event is they have to write a, a chapter for a wiki book. And then that, those chapters, once they're marked, I will edit and will produce a book which will then become the text for this class next year because there are no ready books of case studies in event management. This will be one that Meredith and Jade then write it up and it will become a chapter that will guide students next year on how to stage a successful event. Thanks Robin, thanks very much. And I am telling what I know and I am singing what I see In the end zone, we got to do more than we've done before because we are, we are speaking for freedom today. This is Independence Day. Yes, these are our Independence Day. It is one all. Uh, yes, it is one all. Students scored a goal with, in the die second. So a disappointing result for the staff team? Yep. What do you have to say though? What were oh, we doing? Uh, we, were, we were hoping that speed of thought would win out over speed of feet. <laughs> Turns out we're not as quick thinkers as we first thought. Um, uh, but ultimately, ultimate frisbee's the winner, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the game of ultimate. <laughs> From the students? Uh, it was a very, very good game. Uh, very challenging. Tad Ruff for them, not for us. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, we had fun. Everyone had fun and I think it was a great success. So yeah, very good. <laughs>